Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet, uh, back with a follow-up video. So last time we did an introduction to integrating HappyJS with Socket.io, um, and we just got something like very, very, very basic working. So today we're going to do something a little cool and show like the power of web sockets, uh, things like that. If you missed the first video, I'd recommend go to my YouTube channel at Code Planet uh, and watch it because we're going to be building off of that same project. So where we left off last time. Uh, was we had like this file that was like a server and it uses happy uh, and it's got one route which sends an index.html file um, and then at the bottom we've got this like very basic socket IO thing which emits a news event and then when somebody connects and sends a something event we console log the data so like pairing that with uh, our index.html it listens for the news event and then console logs the data and then emits the something event. So they kind of have this like pair together where uh, the server sends hello world and then the client logs hello world and then emits my data and then the server logs my data. Um, so they just do this like little dance basically. So if we node server.js, uh, it'll start it running Then we'll hit it over here in the web browser and we can see in the console it logs hello, hello world uh, and then back here on the server, it logs my data. Uh, so that's fine and good, but that doesn't really harness like what's so cool about Socket.io. So what we want to do here today is we want to build a button that the client gets and then count a number uh, starting at zero. And then whenever anybody clicks on the button, it'll send the new count to everybody. So you could use this like similarly, you could do something like a page view counter um, which is like pretty cool. So let's build the button for now, and then if we have time, maybe we'll go into just a page view counter. Uh, okay, so the first thing that I'm gonna wanna do is I'm gonna wanna go back into our server where we've been working. Uh, and we're just gonna switch just a few things up, uh, and we're really gonna do it all down here, just for uh, saving space. So the first thing is I kinda want this global-ish variable. Um, so I'm gonna make that out here. It'll get hoisted at the top, but just so you can see it. Uh, we're gonna start the count at zero. So that'll start at zero only when a, the server is reset, like control C and start a new one. Uh, and so then I'm, instead of emitting this news event, which is kind of arbitrary, we'll call it count. Uh, and then we'll pass down this object that'll be like, you know, the key of count. Uh, and then the value will be our, our count here. So whenever anybody joins, like the first person that joins will get this zero sent to them. Uh, but what's kind of cool about it is since this count is outside of that scope, whenever anybody else joins, instead of getting zero, they'll get whatever it currently is. So if it gets set to four and then you join, you'll see four, not zero. Uh, and then the second thing we're gonna do is instead of this random something event, we're gonna make one called increase. Uh, and we can actually, oops, uh, increase and instead of we don't actually need to do anything with the data this will just be like any client telling us we're ready to increase the count uh, so we can do something like uh, count plus plus um, so we're gonna pause there even though we will want to discover how we're gonna admit the count to everybody let's just pause there for a second and go back into index.html uh, so we're gonna do stuff just a little bit different here we're still gonna connect on socket we don't have a news event anymore right so instead of the news event, we're gonna be listening for count. We don't really want to console log because we're not really doing anything, but we do need a little bit of HTML to mess with. So I'm gonna put that up here. The two things we'll want is a div uh, with the ID of count, and that's where we'll keep this number. Uh, and then the other thing that we're gonna want is just, I guess, a button with an ID of something like click me, something like that. Um, and that'll be cool because we'll use that button for uh, increasing the count all over the place. So then we'll just put like the other words, click me inside the button uh, and we'll close it out. Okay, so now we've got a div and a button. So when the count comes down for the first time, uh, instead of console logging the data, what we'll wanna do instead is we'll want to like maybe uh, document, get element by ID, and we'll grab onto that uh, count div, and then we'll just take, basically, I guess we'll just take that and we'll just set the inner HTML to be the data that comes back dot count. So we'll get this data in like zero the first time, and all we'll do is we'll just set the count, uh, and then we're not gonna omit any events. So again, we're not really done yet, but if we go ahead and node server.js, uh, it says it's running, click on it. Okay, so now we get, you can kind of see the page loads and then this zero comes in, this is great. So we've got a zero and we've got a click me. Um, 
let's go ahead and close these other examples. Okay, so now kind of going back here, uh, what we want is some functionality around when you click the button. So we'll start off back in our index.html. And basically what we want to do is like have like a very basic event listener. Uh, again, this is like probably not best practices you want in a different file or something, but for now it just makes it nice and easy. So we'll do something here. We'll have like document get element by ID. Uh, and this time we're going to grab that click me. Uh, and basically all we want to do with that is add like an on click handler, which, um, oops, which will pass to a function. Uh, you could use like something like jQuery to make this a lot cleaner, um, but just for now, this is great. So basically, whenever you click the button, all we're going to do is we're going to emit our own event of increase. And we really don't care what the count is because it's just going up by one each time. So we don't need to send them the count. They know what it is. Just increase it by one. So now we'll send them increase. Uh, we need the server to do something with that. So we'll go back down into here, and we're just going to have um, another one of these Oh, actually, we already have it. <laughs> so on increase, we still want to up the count. And then the very last thing that we want to do, actually, I think if we pause here for a second before we do the last part, because the last part's a little confusing. I think if we go back and load this, we'll still see like we can, it won't turn to one in front of our eye, but I think if we refresh, yeah, so you can see like if I click it three times and then come back, it'll be four. So it is keeping a persistent state. Um, and what's kind of cool, like let's say we move this into half the screen and we do we go in another window to one, it's still getting like, so if I click, you know, up it to eight, nine, ten, and then I refresh this one, it gets ten, as does this one. So kind of the last thing we want to do is whenever an increase happens, we want to broadcast that to all of the other um, clients so you can kind of see this like magical in front of your eyes it updates thing. So what we'll want to do for that you kind of have two choices. We've seen socket.emit, which will send something to the individual client. Uh, so like each time a connection happens, the socket is, it's actually more like the client. Uh, and we could even change that maybe if we wanted to, um, you know, from socket to client. So it's like client emit count, client on increase. Um, so the last thing we'll want to do is do all clients. And the syntax for that is it's actually the IO, uh, the socket IO listener uh, dot sockets you know for all of them uh, dot emit um, and now we can emit count and then similarly to before we'll just send them down the new count under like a count key um, and so that's how you do it for all socket IO has some really cool stuff where it can actually do it for certain groups so you could be like um, I don't know if you had people that were you know playing a certain game you could just target all of them or if you had people that were you know like uh, I don't know. Any, anything you could think of. You can make arbitrary groups instead of sockets. You could do like players or uh, people reading a blog post or, you know, whatever you want like that. But for now, we're just going to do everybody. Um, okay, so that's cool. And then the last thing we want to do back here in index is, um, let's see, so on a new count, it'll update. Actually, I think, yeah, that should be good. So as new counts keep coming down, we'll just keep updating the data dot count. Uh, so if we go out here and do a node on server, it's running again. And then we have these, I'm gonna refresh it. So it's zero because it goes back. And then as we click, uh, it goes to one. And what you can see, which is really cool, is it actually updates in real time between the two windows. Uh, and then like similarly, if we, let's make computer load for a second. If we go to Firefox or you know any other client, you could do this from home. Um, and as it loads, if we go to here, it gets the 16 and then we're like updating like this. So this is pretty cool. Um, and I think it would be like, you know, almost identical if you wanted to do something like a page view count where instead of waiting for a button to be clicked, it would just be like on connection. You know, you would like, you know, go into your index.html, uh, you know, and you would be like, uh, let's see, like, okay, yeah. So, so the server sends an event and we right now we're sending count. Um, and so, right there without doing this click me you could also like let's just do it real quick um and we'll get rid of this button all right so now what's happening is like this event count that gets sent down which is like the when you've connected here's the count um we'll write it to the number which is great but we'll also send the increase to be like hey i'm here i'm a new client um you know please go ahead and update that uh so now if we node server and we go back over here um you know, we'll hit it and it's zero. Oh boy, <laughs> that's going up really quickly. Okay, so I think, let me see if I can figure out what's going on with that. Uh, server. So it's like, 
Yeah, so here's the problem. The problem is that we're sending, uh, you know, uh, we're sending count every time you send increase. And every time we get a count, we send increase. So it's like this infinite loop right now. Um, so b maybe what we could do is like, we could call this like uh, connected, um, right? So this is like the initial connection we send the count. And then every other time we keep sending this count thing. Um, and then over in the index file, uh, we'll want to do like on socket that on connected. Uh, function and then all we'll do with this is socket emit increase okay so now the very first time we hit it we do an increase and then every other time that we get this count back all we do is increment that uh, div that we've got so let's see how this is looking server loads and let's see we just need a browser Something's wrong. Give me a second here. Unexpected end of input. Should have stopped at that last example. Um, socket on connected. That looks good. Throw a function. Function does a socket emit. That's good. Ah, we just have to close this out here. Okay. Load server. Back over here. Refresh this. Okay, so now we get one, and if you like hit it again, you would get two. Um, so here's this is like kind of a cool idea you could use, like, um, like you know, perhaps you could do something like uh, uh, data count here, and then like plus uh, people have viewed your page or something like that. Um, so you could run this like server, and then you know, as like the first person hits it, it's like, I guess one people is wrong, but you know, then it's like two people have viewed your page. Uh, and then it's kind of cool because if you come over here uh, and somebody, you know, else goes over here, it updates at three. So like if your blog article was like really popular um, and people kept, you know, hitting it over, you know, as, as you would read it in real time, um, you know, you'd be seeing this number update all over the place. So I don't know, those are kind of cool. Um, there's a kind of unlimited cool things you can think about doing with Sakadeo. Uh, these are just a couple of them. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to see, like maybe a chat application or, you know, anything like that, uh, let me know and I could definitely go ahead and build that. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks.